to taking stuff out of a box, the super exciting show where we take a look at brand new gear by taking it out of a box. Anyway, on the chopping block today, we have some really cool stuff from our friends over at Rad Distribution, and we're gonna be taking a look at some 500 series gear. Ugh. Ugh. Holy smokes. Now, I can't say if that's as heavy as the Cranborn that's sitting in a rack over there, but uh, this has still got some weight behind it, that's for sure. Now this is that rack I was talking about. This is the PBR8 from Black Line Audio. And I really like Black Line because they've got, you know, really sensibly priced gear and it's really high quality as well. I've been wanting to get them on the show forever and I think it's super cool that I'm gonna get to try this out. Of course, the real trick is gonna be finding a space for all this stuff in my rack. It's gonna be an interesting couple days in here while I kind of, you know, redeploy a few critical pieces of equipment. And here it is. Oh, it looks to be very similar to the power supply for the Cranborn. Very cool. A couple different power cables. One looks like for European and one for North America. Super awesome. Powers here. We've got our outputs on top and our inputs on the bottom. This is an eight space 500 series rack. We've got something super cool about this one. There is a front patch bay here. So you get your outputs and your inputs. So I could hook a mic up directly through this or just patch into something else that needs it. No problem at all and multiple outputs as well. So the whole idea here for having this custom patch be here is you can build your own channel strips. So you can have a mic preamp, a compressor, an EQ, and then wire them all together here on the patch bay and then go out to another source or an, or an input on your sound card or whatnot. So you can actually mix and match modules if you wanna, wanna try a different preamp with a different EQ or compressor, that kind of thing, or run two compressors in series, that kind of thing, like one being a FET type compressor and another an optical type compressor. I think that is just freaking amazing. I'm also really excited about the fact that it has the 25 pin connect connectors here because these are what I've got on the back of my main patch bay from Redco Audio that I installed a couple years ago and did that episode on patch bays. And if you're running a home studio and don't have a patch bay, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting one because they just make life Oh, so much simpler. Now to continue on, we are playing the audio engineer equivalent of Gotta Catch Them All, and that means lots of 500 modules. And we've got some goodies here from Lindell Audio, and I've been kind of drooling over these for the last little bit. Um, as you guys recall, I checked out some of Chad Kelly's stuff, and that was one thing I asked Chad. I was like, hey, Chad, who makes 500 series gear that you really dig? And he's like, yeah, check out the Lindell stuff. And uh, so I'm gonna say thank you very much to Lindell for sending me over a couple of goodies. Um, they've, they've got a stellar reputation and ooh, that is a really sweet build. Look at that, that's so clean. Wow, and this is the PEX 500. Boost, attenuation, and bandwidth. Oh, okay. So this is almost like a Pultec style EQ in a single channel. How freaking cool is that? Look at the size of the transformers here. We got a bunch of them. We got three of them here and one tiny IC, and that's about it. And these are some really beautiful pots on here. They feel very solid. You know, the switches, rock solid. So it looks like we get uh, a high boost and cut and a low boost and cut and a bandwidth selector as well. And then we can pick what frequency. We got 16 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, and six plus on the low end, 30, 60, and 100. Now, why would you have a boost and cut at the same frequency? That's so you can shape the actual curve, you can make the boost and cut work against each other and kind of carve out stuff. And that's one of the reasons why the Pultec EQ was so popular is because you could do those custom EQ curves. And everybody knows the sound of a Pultec because they've won up on a million different records. I'm really looking forward to trying this out on like single source stuff like bass guitar, maybe even a vocal, maybe my vocal for my voiceovers, that kind of thing. This looks like it's gonna be super cool. Maybe even on guitar on the way in. Look Looking forward to trying this one out. Now this is the 7X500, 500 series dynamics process. Ooh, I love analog compression. It's like, look at that, just super sweet build. You just see this through the plastic and it's clean, clean, clean. Okay, so this is 500 series. I'm guessing this is a FET style compressor. And what do we got here? We've got input, 
I'll put attack, slow, medium, fast, and same with release, and a, and a dry wet knob so you can do parallel compression. How cool is that? Ratio is a switch. That's different. Okay. And we got 10 to 1, 12 to 1, 4 to 1. Okay, so goes from pretty much hits exactly where you'd want in terms of ratios. Um, I'm usually 4, 4 to 1 anyway, or 8 to 1. So we've only got three different ratios. It's either going to be, you know, medium, harder, and hardest, or soft, medium, and then hard. I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to have to check the manual. The print's a little too small for my eyes, and I am wearing bifocals, but I am definitely looking forward to checking this out. Now, look for an episode where I shoot out analog compressors versus plugins. It's going to be a very eye-opening episode. I've done a lot of preliminary experimentation with it, and uh, the difference isn't subtle, to say the least. Anyway, make sure you hit the subscribe button for that. That way you will get notified when that episode comes out. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss that one. And last but not least, this is the ooh, Mike Preamp and Equalizer 6X500. This sounds interesting. I didn't know there was a preamp coming along. Ooh. And again, just looks to have that super clean Lindell build. Look at that. So we get gain. Output, great, so we can drive the input stage high boost and low boost. Okay, so a very simple shelving type EQ. 30 hertz, 60 hertz, and 100 hertz on the low, and then 6, 10, and 16 on the highs. This might be really badass on guitar, actually. So we get an EQ switch, polarity switch, and phantom power as well. Microphone preamplifier right here. We didn't see this on the EQs or the compressor, so I am guessing this is the mic preamp transformer right here. One can never have too many awesome mic preamps to choose from because you know everything's got a slightly different flavor, and it's a great way to make your tracks work together. You can have your guitars going through a certain set of preamps, then you can have your bass going through a different one as well. That way, they all kind of occupy a slightly different space space in the frequency range and that way they should play together better in a full mix. All right, so that's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'd like to thank Rad Distribution along with Lindell Audio and Black Lion Audio for providing that amazing gear. You can expect all of that coming up on a full review in the very near future. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified for that. I can't wait to check that out. And make sure you keep your eye out for my shootout between analog compressors and plugins. Again, that's gonna open some eyes for a lot of you guys out there. I think it's something you really need to check out. Anyway, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and just being part of this thing. I really appreciate hearing from each and every one of you guys. So if you got a question about 500 series, make sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, see you later.